Hello, Cancer. So this is your holiday love reading. Um, the energy feels really, really calm. So just to let you know, for some reason, I feel like strong manifestation. So you're going to start to realize like some of your dreams are going to be coming true because I even see like a once in a lifetime love that is approaching. Um, let me see for Cancers. It seems like you could have gotten out of a, a relationship that could have been like detrimental, like to your soul. Um, you could have been attached, attached in a codependent relationship with a narcissist, like someone who took your love for granted um, and only gave you pain. Yeah, I knew it. This is the alchemy. I, I already, I already knew this was going to come up for you. Like, this is going to be a very, very powerful time for you. It's like you're stepping into your power. Um, for a lot of you, I think that the love situation that you went through, you had to make a sacrifice. Like, you had to make a sacrifice, and it was not hard for you at all, okay? Um, the thing is, because of the sacrifice that you made by finally um, walking away from a lover... Who you're with, they could be with somebody already, by the way. If you if you left an ex that had you in a third party situation, it looks like they're already in um I hear entrapment. So they could have they could have got trapped by somebody. Somebody could have got pregnant by someone that you were with or someone that you love, someone that you held near and dear to your heart. They could have I hear entrapment. I hear contract. So contract, it means they could have been secret, secretly married. I don't know if they told you that they are single and then you found out that they could have still been in a marriage. It, you just found out some devastating news that that like truly crippled your soul. It, it crippled your soul. I hear ripped your heart in, in five pieces. Um and it, it took <laughs> it took a lot of internal strength. And I hear talk. So if I hear talk, it just means time. It took a lot of internal strength and a lot of time for, for you to truly heal from this um, and let go. I hear emotional manipulation. So this person could have been emotionally manipulative to you. They could have confused you. Um, had you thinking one thing and then it was another. It just seems like an unfolding of lies that that finally came out to the forefront. And I hear deceitful, like the person was so deceptive that I think you couldn't take any pain anymore. I think your heart, your heart could not take another lie, another secret. I feel like you love hard and you wear your heart on your sleeve. I think they totally drained your love bank, you know? Um, you could have even been guarded for a while because of what this person had done to you. And now I hear grace. So now you can be standing in grace. And if standing in grace, maybe you could be more spiritual than you ever have in your life. You can be more spiritually aligned. You can be, um, I hear divine light. Yeah, there's something way more spiritual about you. And it's so powerful to the point that if you walk, people just stare at you or something. Or grace. There's something about your grace and, and divine light. There's something about your soul that shines bright. <laughs> you know, or do some of you guys do poetry? I feel very poetic right now. Um, maybe you use poetry as a tool to help you heal. You know, um, I hear pampering. So you could be nurturing yourself more. Let's see. Let's see. Either way, you're at a place where you're focused on yourself. For some of you, you love animals because I see you with a pet. Maybe you have a pet. It could be a, a dog. Um. Maybe you go to different animal shelters, something to do with animals that you love.
Mm. Maybe there's a necklace that you wear that you really like. Some type of necklace, yeah. Okay. So this is this is a cycle that you you could have went through, like a, a horrible cycle that is finally closing. For some reason, when I also see this cycle, I just see like someone traveling or transforming. You could be transforming into your true self. Maybe this person could have held you back. Um, I hear demanding. Maybe they could have been very demanding on you, on your time. They could have been a little controlling. They could have been a control freak. Um, and now since you are no longer in that cycle, you're, you're transforming into a new cycle. But this cycle is, is beautiful, <laughs> you know, and this is home, you know, so it could be even a situation if for some of you, if you live with this person, you could have moved back and, and moved, you could have moved out and moved back to your hometown, um, home can be internal too. Like you can connect more deeply in, um, in a spiritual realm. Yeah. So this is Phoenix rising. You're, you're rising, you're rising to your full potential. This is what spirit has wanted from you. You know, you're, you're going through this cycle and this phase of time where you're truly connecting into your authentic self. And to me, I, I just feel like this is a time where you're unstoppable. You know, I don't think the world seen this coming for you, you know, you could have been holding a lot in, you could have suffered in silence for a very long time. And I think because of what you went through, um, some of you could be a, a speaker. There's something that you devote your time to now, ever since you stopped interacting with this person um, who, who truly hurt you. There's something that you devote your time to. And it's something that you take pride in. It's, it, it's a creative project, a creative project that you love. Oop. Oh, Lord. Yeah. For some of you, you could be light workers. You could be empaths. Um, oh, Lord. Yeah. And, it, and it, like I said, I feel like even with this person, um, they could have been tempting you to come back. You know, or it you you felt very tempted by them. You felt very attached to them. You felt very drawn with them, and it took a whole lot of spiritual strength for you to finally get yourself untangled from this entanglement that you've been in with this person. You could have also found out things about them through um, your intuition. If it wasn't your intuition, a reader could have led you. Um, you could have been puzzled about this person or why they treat you this way or why do they do what they do? Because they could have been very secretive and you could have found out through intu intuitive guidance about them. Okay. Yeah. So see, you had to make a sacrifice and it took a lot of spiritual strength because you love them. You didn't want to let go. You did not want to let go. See? You had to make a sacrifice and move on. And now it's like celebrations. You could be out enjoying your best life, you know? I hear finances is back on track. Yeah, see, I said finances is back on track and it shows a loss. I felt like you could have took a financial hit when you were with this person. Um, I feel like they could have been very unbalanced financially, you know? They were all about like the look because they could have been stunting on on their social media and it looked like they got so much money. It looked like they got it all together. And it's like if you only knew what they truly were working with, you would run away from them. It's, it's kind of like a thing like that. They make themselves they're all about the image. So they make themselves look good, you know. Um, whoever you were connected to. But the, the truth is they had a lot of mental issues. They had a, a lot of control issues and they had a lot of financial issues. Yeah. And since you left them, now it's going to be a victory and success, you know, a victory and success for you. Lots of celebrations. Yeah. 
we made a judgment call. And I feel like it, it wasn't even like, this could have even been friends, you know? You had to make a judgment call and just stop all the bullshit, you know, from coming into your life, entering your space. I feel like I, I hear sacred. I feel like you're very much more protective of yourself. Um, and I hear sacred space. So you probably created a, a sacred space for yourself um, to heal because I see emotional loss, you know? So you took a loss. You took a big loss, you know? Um 2019 could have been very harsh for you. You're probably looking forward to 2020 because of all that you, you've you been through. But I, I see like the fruits of your labor. Like you're finally being able to um, see the fruits of your labor. Yeah, <laughs> this is so beautiful. So this is the sun and this is balance being brought back into your life. And it's, it's like financial restoration that's also coming in. I feel like you're going to be, I hear, achieving higher heights. You're going to be getting a lot of job offers. Um, I hear multiple, multiple job offers. People are going to be wanting to request to, to see you. If you have your own independent business, you can expect for your business to flourish at this time. A lot of financial blessings, a lot of gifts that are going to come in. This is going to be a very happy time for you. And it, and it took a lot. It took a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You lost confidence in working with somebody. You could have been connected to a fire sign or an earth sign, but you lost confidence in this situation. You didn't want to work with them anymore. You didn't feel like they were being a team player. They left you alone a lot. Um, and once again, this is third party. So they could have had you co competing for their heart and their time and it broke your soul, you know? Um, but let me see something too. How does the cross watcher feel about cancer? How do they feel about cancer, the cross watcher spirit? Yeah, see, they, the cross watcher, they lost hope too, that you would want to work with them anymore. You know, they, they lost hope that you, that you would want to work with them because I feel like it was just too much. I feel like they, they did so much to you. What is this? Yep. <laughs> they they want a passionate new beginning with you, but they're they're feeling like you don't want to work with them, that you wouldn't want to be back with them, you know? They feel like you you untangled yourself from them. They see, like you let loose. Like you you found a way to break free from them. They see that, but they would love a passionate new beginning, but they don't have any hope that you would. So it's basically it's just wishful thinking, you know. Um, it's wishful thinking that they, they got going on. Yeah. But it, it's a wish. Cause you see, this is the magician. This is somebody who who's wishing they would love a passionate new beginning with you. But at the same time, they feel like you, you, you wouldn't even be up for it, but they still praying and wishing. They feel like, dang, I, I lost a good one. And this person could have been emotionally closed off to you. You could have also been with a water sign like yourself, but they, um, Ooh. It's like now that you turned your back to them, they are secretly obsessing over you, literally. Like wishing, but also feeling like you you ooh closed your heart off to them. Yep. And they have a lot of sleepless nights and anxiety about losing this relationship. They really do. It's sad. It's like. A lot of these readings are about people just taking others for granted, you know? Yeah. See, so it's justice. It's justice. You spoke your truth. You could have went off, could have stood up for yourself and told the person, like, you're not, you're not nurturing this, this relationship. You're not doing anything. Like, how long do you expect me to stay in this connection? Well, that's all you do is lie and, and cheat. <laughs> like, what else more do I got to find out about you? So it's, it's a completion of a cycle. Um, it could be bittersweet, you know? You probably thought you've seen forever with this person and now things have took a turn for the worst. But once again, lots of balance being brought back into your life. And I see lots of money. Ooh. And spirit is telling you to stay optimistic about your love life. Why, spirit? 
Yeah, there's going to be a passionate new connection that's going to come towards you. And it says, let your friends help you. So you're probably going to be introduced to this new mate through a friend. Who else? Ooh. Yeah. I hear divine connection. It says, keep an open mind about... For some of you, why do I feel like this new love is here, but you're just skeptical? This energy feels like it's around you already. Like this new connection that you're entering and it feels like it's around you. This person is around you. They could be working with you. They could be around you, but you could be overlooking them because you're only focused on money. I don't know if you're ready to love because it shows that this, it feels like the energy feels like it's around you already. Mm, interesting. Yeah. See, so it shows like you releasing your ex. You had to release an ex to get the next. So you have a true love situation. You released your ex and now there's true love that's coming. Coming towards you. Yep. And I did say it's religious factor. So this can be like a true divine counterpart. If you felt as if this person could have been like a, a twin flame, they were actually there to mold your soul um, for this true love that is coming your way. I just, who's coming? Taurus. I hear, I said Taurus. You could be connecting with a Taurus, Cancer. You, you could, because I don't know why I hear Taurus. I, <laughs> look. <laughs> So this is the commitment card, this commitment that's coming. A brand new beginning, but I'm trying to find out. See, you're single. You're currently single. Who's coming towards them? Uh-oh. It could be another cancer. This can be another cancer that is charging towards you. Um to make you a love offer. It could also be somebody who's a little bit younger than you, um, but they're patient, dependable, and they're they're successful, you know? What else? Yeah. They're also someone who will work with you. If not, I think they could work at your job. They could be someone who works with you currently that you're not even looking at like that. And they're going to give you an offer like to go out on a date. It also um, shows the queen of fire. So you could be connecting to a, a fire sign or someone who's going to be very passionate about you. But I hear dazing and look watching you from afar. I feel like whoever this person is, they see you already. Somebody that you probably don't look at like that, but there's someone around you already who, who wants to make an offer, okay? So I hope this resonates. I send you so much love and light and happy holidays.